Hey. Hey. Nobody joined today. Give folks more time. Do we have anything on the agenda? No, I just created weeks thing. Um, cool. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to do the the survey form, so I'll try to do that today. Hey, Puna. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you, Rita. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Just a slow network today. Oh. Gotcha. We have a makes pretty light agenda today. Hey, we got the way of matching, sort of. Yay. We you, can't you hear you, no Max. Audio. You're not on mute, but we cannot hear you. Oh, I, I can hear you. Uh, buddy. That, that was just my mic. That was that was intentional. My my audio cuts out every time I join a meeting. Mm. Guess that's a good thing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. I need to unplug and replug. Oh. Every time. Is that a Zoom thing or what? I think it's just a weird hardware bug. I don't know why. It, it, it appears to be like any meeting software too. So it's a new and exciting world we live in. Indeed. How are y'all? Good. And I think we have a new member right today. Would you yeah. like to introduce yourself? Did you call me out? Sorry, my. Yes, I am. My connection is a bit slow. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead. Hey, Max. Max and I, we are on the same team. I work as a product manager for policy controller. Which, Sorry for what? Which is, which which uses. Uh, your audio is going in and out. Or policy controller. I'm going to use chat. <laughs> Is it better now? Yeah. No? It's a little bit better. I think so. Okay. Well, welcome. <laughs> She must be using that internet company, you know, the 
any of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Got it. Thank you and welcome. Welcome. All right. Um, so just triage in the agenda. Fun. So I think the between the three of us, we kind of went through some of the failed items. Oh, I I forgot I put pasted the, the, the these items actually. I don't know if we are still going through the triage. So I, I'll delete that one. Wait, what happened? What did you delete? Uh, I, I copy pasted it from uh, last oh. meeting. I forgot we were uh, not doing the triage anymore because of the stale bot. Well, we uh, we were gonna like look over them on our, our lonesome. Yeah, yeah, we, we were doing we doing a, a sync. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I, I was... did do that, but I did not finish. <laughs> there were so <laughs> many. Yeah, were... like a hundred sixty something when I was looking at it. I, I mean, we can always open later too, like if we see something. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I commented on the ones that I found were interesting, uh, except for uh, there's some that are on the Gator roadmap that it would just be nice if we had, and I don't know if this is possible on GitHub, but a roadmap where we could put those features in there and not have it be, you know, taking up bug queue room. Yeah. Is is that a thing or not really? Well, what's a thing? Uh, the the ability to have Gator issues that are like major feature requests, for instance, like the ability to um, use uh, the uh, request object as the input to Gator test or Gator validate verify whatever the command is, um, versus an, an object, um, you know, things that we very clearly want and there's no debate around, but I'm not sure if, you know, we're spending cycles on them in the short term, right? Uh, it'd be nice to have that be separate from the triage cycle, right? And I don't know if that's a thing we could do. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like that we went and did our own triaging to, you know, either close things we know are done or like remove labels that we already know are um, things that we want to continue. I, I, I still think we, should as a group go through things that need to be prioritized if that makes sense i think some of these are um like they, they would require a little bit more debate um so i don't know what's a good way to signal that like um because right now the end result of each one of us individually triaging is either we think they're like not that high priority that you know we we would ask the user to go um, bump it right so we leave those alone and in time those will get closed by the bot which is great and then there are some like we individually remove the label so for those it may should, should we all triage those together like you know meaning we know they're valuable but we what do we do with them right like do we leave them open and but then What's the go to do? Uh, what, what's the to do after that? Yeah, I think unambiguously, if there's something that we want to see addressed, right? We should we should definitely raise that one for sure. Uh, th those issues for sure. Um, and then I think there's sort of a middle ground where it could kind of go either way in terms of how we want to play it. Right, where where we just realize no, this shouldn't be killed. Uh, I don't have a strong opinion on it. Needs to be solved now. I don't have any like, um, you know, 
design debate that I think goes along with this that would gate on work being started. Um, I just, for, for instance, like the gator test stuff, there's, uh, there's stuff in there that's like kind of patently obvious, right? In terms of the, the design impact, right? Like I want to use a, a request object, uh, right? It, but for me, at least there are higher priorities, um, things that I could see. Uh, that I would want to tackle, and I don't know if I feel like trying to convince someone else to tackle it, right? So, so those are those are kind of the middle ground type of like individual severities I'm I'm thinking about. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what's a better uh, like process or like label that we could add or milestone that we could add to make this a, so that when we do triage together we only look at the things that are um that are I don't know like debatable and then for the rest do we just add them to a like a backlog bucket because right now it's sort of like we remove the label but one once you know after however many weeks they just come back again um I mean we can look into like the needs more discussion ones or triaged ones and then actually like go through the triaging and discussions. Yeah, we could look at like most recently updated, right? And that would force us to look at newly filed issues and also issues that That's people true. have yeah. We can also do it because those are fresh. That also makes sense to me. Those are like people that need help right away maybe, or there's like an immediate issue. And just to clarify, is there triage? Is, are the issues with triage are basically like our backlog at the moment? Because they've been triaged, they have a triage label and they're not closed. And therefore, are they just things that we want to do and it's in our backlog? Well, so if we if we go with most recently updated, it's not necessarily triaged, right? Those could be new bugs. Oh no, these right. are two different things. I was just asking oh. for the for the items that have triage labels, are they essentially just things that's in our backlog? I mean, mm. things that we want to do, we just don't have the bandwidth. I would say if we want to exempt something from uh future triage it probably should like one be associated with some kind of like milestone right the or or something where people can if they're looking for work to do uh and they don't necessarily care what it's an easy place to sort of say no these are like issue bugs and you wanted to work on the cli or core gatekeeper the library or whatever um, so you go to the particular milestone that, that um, uh, fits that area. Um, and then things that are more going concerns, right? So like active bugs uh, or stuff where, you know, we, we want to have a little bit of design so that people can't. Uh, can can have enough direction before uh, they they pick it up. Those we probably still want to sort of leave in the hot seat uh, for for triage discussion. Um, I don't know what will happen if the feature log backlog like grows to a hundred <laughs> over time, but I I don't think it will. Like there's. I mean, let me in terms see. of concrete features, sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah, like I, I guess like originally I was thinking the point of the triage meeting is to at least filter out what we want to do versus the ones we are not going to do or won't need more information. And for the things that we do want to do, like assuming we clean up everything, then we could uh, start adding things to milestones, right? At least this is what I've done from other uh, community projects, right? Is, you know, you kind of go through the backlog, like clean up the house first, and then you 
group the the stuff in the backlog into milestones based on their priorities and you know just people's bandwidth right so I, I don't think we're quite there yet because you know I think today we have 42 triage 42 issues with triage label yeah so that yeah the triage label is that that's coming from like previous manual triages right that's right the that's right. But the, the assumption is they've gone through at least one or more maintainers looking at them and thinking that they are they bring value to the project and therefore they're not going to get closed. That's sort of the idea. Hmm. Okay. Uh, evaluate the impact of X preserve unknown fields true introduced by... Wow, is this one? Yeah, this one's already pinned. Like there is actually, there's not much work to be done because it's documented like the workaround. Which one are we looking at? The, the second one on the list, evaluate impact of, this is the, this oh. is pinned actually. Yeah, that's pinned. Yeah, this is, yeah. I think that's a Kubernetes thing. It's just like, yeah. yeah. There's actually really not much we need to do here. Yeah. Because the workaround is documented in the issue. But anyway. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah, I was just thinking like maybe for today, let's just go through kind of what we used to do and kind of look at the most recently updated ones. Uh, and maybe we could filter by, uh, I don't know what you guys want to filter by, but like then we can hopefully have a list of things that, the bot is going to go close and then a list of triaged uh, issues that we can persist in the backlog. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. I'm looking at the triage stuff and I'm, I'm like, I don't know if I'll put some of these in like a milestone. Um, I, we could, we could look at most recently updated for sure. I'm just still, yeah. Uh, You're questioning uh, the label. I, I'm questioning our our previous criteria for I like see. applying that label. Uh, okay. If, how if how should we mean. change it? Um. So I I'm fine with your 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 suggestion for the the label is is like markers for uh, work to be done, right? Like stuff that. Well, currently um, we're well, using it as markers for the uh, stale bot to not add add a stale label. Currently. Interesting. Yeah. And and like prior to the whole stale bot stuff, I think we just kind of like put the label on if we mm -hmm. discussed it at That's all right. in triage. So, yeah. so we, we were the stale bot. What's up? Yeah, we were the stale. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were the stale bot. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah, I mean we could do most recently updated now see what people looked at but uh, yeah i think at some point cleaning up then the stuff with the triage label mm -hmm. yeah for um, sure. and because there's 42 of those which isn't terrible yeah so yeah. whichever we want I to mean, do first we yeah it, it, I, I guess we have to do this in stages otherwise it's not manageable everything everywhere all at once is that a good movie? It is, yeah. It's, I saw it in the movie theaters, actually. It's pretty good. Right. <laughs> a while back when it came out. Um, I think, Pandam, did you want to say something? I, I saw you come on off of mute. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, okay, so what do we want to do? Uh, recently updated? Is that what, what, what we said? Yeah. Yeah, I think recently updated is going to be like a kind of interesting because it, it, if we update like a label or anything it basically gets bumped yeah and if you do least recently updated it's basically just going to show us the three triage ones mm, do you want me to share a screen right now yeah go for it okay one second yeah this is going to be tricky because like the a lot of like the stale bots things right updated the I used to be like recently updated, but not by stale bot. Yeah, I, I'm sure button? there is like a well, filter. Well, we um, could say 
you can exclude won't fix if you want or triaged or uh, well uh, wait was it there was won't fixed and there was stale stale yeah uh, I don't have know. Both, I right? definitely removed some stale labels. I don't know if I consistently did that this last time. Uh, so stale, I changed it so that the won't fix becomes stale. Um, so stale is a new new one. The won't fix mm -hmm. was the old one. That seemed pretty harsh. Um, yeah, yeah. Someone commented like, "Won't fix? What is this?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not me. It's the bot. <laughs> <laughs> I think you do a minus um, somewhere. Let me see that. Um, yeah, so I'd probably what, what do minus. We want to search by? Yeah, I think minus label. Um, what? Yeah, minus label, and then yeah, so that's going to exclude label. Yeah, press enter. Just yeah, yeah. That that's how to do it. And then, and then minus, minus minus label again for one fix. Okay, let me see. I want to make sure I get the exact thing. Yeah, it's just one fix. Okay. That's it, I think. So these are recently updated ones. Jesus. You can sort it if you want. Yeah, it's uh, recently updated. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was saying. I just changed the order of this one and it got bumped to the top. Um, okay, tracking feature. We already know this one. Throttling gatekeeper. Or, yeah, this was recent. So maybe we should do reverse order. These yeah, reasons. so these are going to be the ones that still but is going to close um, soon. But we, we have to make um, a minus label triage too, because these are all going to be triaged. Let me, uh, let me D stale one some of the ones that um stale. is it a word i i would uh yeah because i i don't think i consistently what, okay, what so about 63. these ones so 63 yeah. is not so terrible yeah bad but not as bad okay shall we uh one one second let me um, there's like 10 issues here that I commented on, but still have stale. I'm just making sure there's nothing I missed here. Uh, yeah, I noticed that the bots is a little quirky sometimes and it, it doesn't remove the label. Um... Interesting. Oh, it's supposed to remove the label if you comment, the bot is? Yeah, yeah. but I, I've oh. seen a few instances, but it never did. Um... Well, that's well, cool. So I, I went, so I, yeah, so some of the ones that you commented, uh, uh, I think a couple of days ago, Max, I went in there and removed the labels. Yeah, I got like I, Manually. Bot um, is supposed to do that, yeah. Right, but the stale bot, the, like like after you made the change, uh, certain times with the stale label, then I think it automatically removed. So maybe uh, it's the, the, the label, the name, the yeah, label name. Um, so what do we want to do? Sorry, I'm a little confused right now. Oh, I was, for me, I was just like, hold on, hold on, let me make sure that I'm ready for the list. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think we can go over these. So these are not triage, not stale, not mm -hmm. won't fix. And, um, and old, like, oh, so I'm doing, ones. I'm doing older, oldest first, okay? Yeah, all right, let's go okay. to Print test, I mean, it's nice cleanup. Mm -hmm. Honestly, yeah. the pain threshold for this is, it doesn't seem, I don't think it would cause a lot of pain for me if this never got fixed or, or anyone really, unless you have a really narrow monitor or really deep directory. So or you're copy and pasting them. And oh, it's, them. It's, yeah. yeah. It's this. Do we have a nice to have label? Um, in other projects, they have priorities like P1, P2. That actually helps. Yeah, I mean, we can add priorities. Um, is, is lower more severe or higher? I think higher more. is more severe, usually. Sorry, sorry, lower is more severe. 
Like P0 yeah. is like really important. Yeah. So then when we get something super important, that's P negative one, right? Yes. Or I think oh. Kubernetes have the, the actual, it's written, right? Like priority important, that sort of stuff. So what do we want to do for this one? Is there a nice to have label? I, if so, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, that would be, that'd be cool. Yeah, if, if I were to like, Magically, I would like have it in a roadmap or something where it's like easy work items that are nice to have that someone can just like pick off. And if they want to have yeah, a that's PR, good, good first issue and uh, nice to have, yeah, yeah. And it can like sit there for months and we yeah. won't bug you or try to take it over, probably. Right? Yeah, we can create the nice to have. So in triage. triage, yeah, triage. Yeah. So it doesn't get closed. So, so yeah, if, if it's triage, it still is not gonna still bot is not gonna close them. Yeah, are we good with this? Yeah. All right. A lot of gator ones. How are they not valid KRM resources? And API versions full of bugs. I kind of think suites have the bare minimum. Let me let me go look at an example real quickly just to verify, but I think this might be done. General block node port or whatever services suite API version metadata. Yeah, we're good. Call it done. Um, so current. Um, already includes. Uh, yeah, I think it, it just means. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think, and I'm going from memory here, but the, the bug just is like, we need metadata.name, we need kind, we need API version, which we do have for suites. Okay. Rita, can, can you put an as discussed in on- um, Oh, sure. Like a date, so yeah. Eight, eight, three, yeah. Uh... Uh, implementation audio just cool. Cool. Yep. Yay. That was easy. Okay. Import. Oh, I remember this one. Is this because we didn't have the framework? Wasn't, wasn't this already addressed? I um, think this I is already think so. in, included in the latest. Yeah, I think like this is on the latest one, and we, I think we vendored it, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe it's not? Why is it no, so No, no, no. it is. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. So it is done. Okay. Right. And I think I added this. Why did the will added gator comment? I don't know. That's confusing. I'm not sure. Do you Why this is related to Gator? I, I don't think this is related to Gator at all, hmm. actually, right? Oh, can't hear you again. Sorry, I was muted. Uh, yeah, I was like, I have no clue. Um, maybe it's just being maximalist, like it affects the gator command maybe he was doing it as part of when he was working <laughs> with the gator command but in any case like it shouldn't uniquely affect the gator command cuz they all use the gator and the the, the 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 webhook and all that use the same constraint framework version per release so Fixed once, fixed everywhere, unless it has like special initialization or something, which I don't think it does. So this is part of uh, 3A1, right?
This might be oh. why it's still open. Yeah, I think this is a three nine then. Um, oh, I remember this one because we didn't want to uh, update the frameworks in three eight one. So yeah, oh, this, yeah, I think this is three nine. Yeah, this is actually here, right? Okay, so yeah. I'll just put it here. I mean, just say three nine. Um, to... Okay, fine. Like no reason to anybody to use the beta. That is a good point. Okay, so we're good? Yeah. Close. You're being efficient by copy pasting. <laughs> of course. All right. Allow and targeting object by animation to label. Hmm. <sighs> All How'd this one get rebumped? I didn't rebump it. Yeah, this is, these are old ones. Um, this is least updated. Wait, most recently updated or least no, recently? No, least, least recently updated. Like these, oh, will be, these will be touched by the bot if we don't look at them first. Oh, I thought that we were doing it the other way around. Most recently, yeah. If updated. we do most recent, chances are a bulk of them. We all of three of we us already seen it. So are. yeah, there's no point of it. Yeah. Well, I yeah, I thought I thought the point was. Is... Oh, I think I see his point. He's saying if it still has the label, then we don't touch them because the assumption is all three of us went through it. And then if they don't have the label, that means at least one of us think it's valuable. So therefore, the three of us should talk about it and put them as triaged. If it makes yeah, sense. Then... Yeah, or we yeah. leave it alone and they will get the bot will close it or what or or we just close it. Does yeah. that make sense? I think that's the idea, right? So do yeah, you and that do way. That? Do, do you that's, change that's it? what I thought we were doing. I, okay, I okay, okay. but it was like confusing because anything that was recently touched, like it would you'll see it. Anyway. Right. Yeah. Uh like so if it doesn't have the label, wait, that we'll see it like just checking emails or? Uh, anyway, let's just go through this. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll get a hang of it eventually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, test and, and see what happens. OK. I think that's just that's the one that Max removed the state label. Yeah, um, like just now. Um, test cover support. OK, good. So let's discuss this. <laughs> um, like this is. One I would like to see, like, just putting put in a milestone for Gator and never right. see again until someone wants to work on Gator stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it looks like it's already in the beta milestone. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, I, is it what is is Gator not beta? <laughs> no, that's a good question. Okay. <laughs> Well, and there's no due date, so apparently it's not. All right. <laughs> and it's sixty-eight percent complete. You answer yeah. your own question. Sweet. I I wish it wouldn't like contribute to the issue count. Is the only thing. Do, can like, we do like help wanted? Maybe. Do you think this is good first issue? Probably not, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this one. So I, I'm not wanted. sure. Like I yeah, think I'm help not... wanted. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, I'm not sure OPA gives us this facility. Uh, maybe it does, like the test coverage output. If it doesn't, then that would require hacking the mm. Rego parser. Right. Um, so. right. And I think help wanted it to me. And then again, like we've used this in, in other projects. It, it means like it's like a something we think it's nice to have, but it's not like so urgent that the maintainers would do it. So it, that's why we're asking people to help if they're interested in helping. Would, but it's like a little bit higher bar than a you know good first issue, so. So triaged? Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I, I wonder too, maybe there's a way to recast it in terms of something we do have control over. Um, mm, meaning? So, so if we wanted to have something about like thoroughness of compliance, right? Uh, and so, 
and someone had like their their cluster config um and and they applied their gator or their their gatekeeper constraints to that cluster config using like gator test mm -hmm. if we gave back feedback in terms of like what percentage of the resources were covered by the sets of constraints they have or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you could start to get a sense of the extent to which your cluster config is covered by policy, mm -hmm. which, which might give some signal that, hey, maybe you should consider writing more. Um, so how did, this how is did, in cluster, right? Uh, or well, sh shift left because the, oh, okay. the gator test, but okay, like okay. in cluster could also be interesting. Well, um, I was thinking but, if it's in cluster, wouldn't that just be audit? Well, kind of, but see, audit right now doesn't have a similar facility mm -hmm. in the sense of audit just shows you if you have violations. It doesn't show like, hey, these resources mm -hmm, were right. not matched by any constraint, or you know this. Uh, this constraint only probed these certain fields of of audit, and and at that point you're starting to needing to tool the the rego, or sorry OPA, again. But yeah, I, I don't know, maybe there's a happy medium there that doesn't require okay digging into the parser. Uh, so just to clarify, so this is really like a aggregate of all the. The OPA test results, right? Against all the resources I, that's going to be deployed. So, so I think as written, uh, this is now OPA test is now OPA verify because we are mm. wait. Oh no, OPA no, test. No, no, this is right. Yeah. <laughs> Stop um, confusing me. <laughs> we did it to ourselves. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, yeah. So now every time I, I have to like come back here and just to verify. Ha, huh, get it? No, that's enough. But you overloaded the term. No, no, but but the, but seriously though, test is the the test one. <laughs> <laughs> test is the one that you test against a, a, an actual resource, not the verify is the one where you validate that the constraint template and constraints are good. Yeah, yeah. Test, test, tests your config. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Verify, yeah. verifies your policy. I mean, That's it's right. definitely not in beta because we flipped those ones. So if it was in beta, we would That's true. It. That's true. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we did really confusing after flipping. So, yeah. That yeah. was. Do, that was do a, you want to edit this then? Um, so is OPA what? verify then? No, it's test. This test is still? correct. Oh, okay. This is correct. Okay. Cool. Because it's OPA test. Yeah. Oh, um, OPA test. Oh, duh. So. <laughs> Yeah, but like, um, does open test have a coverage flag? I don't. I mean, it doesn't, right? That's why. That's why we want this. That's what. Well, Gator test for. and Gator verify doesn't. But I, I am curious if open test does. Oh, this. open test. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, are we? Um. Like, is there anything to add here? If not, we should move on. We spend a lot of time on this. Yeah, let's just put it in the backlog and see. So what... triage is you guys good with that then? Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Remember, triage means backlog. All right. Cool. Uh, d -d 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 -d. I don't know why I have these open. Okay. Oh, we don't. Need oh to... wow. Okay. Opa does have a coverage. Opa test does have a coverage thing. So maybe there is something we can. Okay. Cool. Leverage. I don't think we need to look at this guy, right? I think no. this is just so we can move on. Yeah. This is this is just a tracking issue, right? Of yeah. All the, yeah. We, yeah. we only have just the documentation update left. Okay, great. And then um, and then this one you said OPA test. <clears throat> um, yeah, it, it it has a coverage flag, it turns out. So maybe this is realistic in terms of reporting coverage as covered by the example resources versus to report coverage. Uh, sorry, say that one not to report coverage. <clears throat> uh, so uh, to report coverage done by 
over the the rego tests. So if there's some way we can also use that for uh, the suites, right? Like if if suites can contribute to that coverage, then we can stop maybe asking people to like double implement, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, closing these, coming back. Oh, this is an old one. Oh, no, no. This one, I think the action item at the end is someone wants an update to the docs. Right, makes sense. Oh, uh, what is it? Oh, right, yeah, I, I think I read one. it. So he's saying he tried this and, and he wanted to add it to home. And, um, and then of course doc. So doc home need to both be like what I don't understand is like what what will we add in the doc such that it would because this is very specific to your environment, right? Like the like, max serving threads thing. Yeah. Can we automate this one? Maybe we could try to like see what. Automax Prox is doing in terms of figuring out the number of Prox set to a, a machine is set to, so that users don't um, necessarily have to always like tweak this. We still want it probably to be tweakable because as this person, if I'm reading this right, is is finding out the memory usage is still related to the amount of parallelism you have. At, at the webhook level, right? Like it scales with the number of concurrent OPA runs you have. Um, so, you know, if you, if you want uh, more threads for other reasons, like you're running, I don't know, audit or mutation in the same pod, you may want them to diverge. I think the current behavior is minus one today, which is unlimited threads. Correct. Yeah, this this got written and it was just sort of left as like a this may solve an issue someday <laughs> kind of thing, which is why it never got into the documentation. It never got into the, the Helm chart. I mean, do we do we want to cap that, or because if it's causing um issues, we we almost certainly do want to cap it. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, unless we can figure out like an automatic thing, it's not going to be one size fits all. Um, right. But could could we like come up with a I don't know a good default value maybe instead of like minus one? Well, what I was what I was saying is if the default value sort of followed the same kind of concept of auto max prox, where it takes the default from the size of the uh, machine. I don't know if that's possible. I'd, I'd need to like dig into that code to see how they do it, to see what they're looking at. Um, even then, like that would be a default, right? And we'd still want to let users tune it because if you have 10 cores and not a lot of RAM, you don't necessarily want 10 parallel OPA executions. I don't know what you're doing with the rest of those cores at that point, but you know. <laughs> Tuning's hard. Maybe there's other things going on. Sounds good. Are we okay with this? Yeah, so should we create a separate issue for this one then or use this issue for tracking that? Um, I can create one for the... Uh, oh, you mean like tracking this one, right? Yeah, okay. I can... Yeah, what we just talked about with Max. So basically like figuring out what auto Max Prox does and basically using that um and then this could be the helm one i don't know um, right right or we can close this one or not put any issue new issue for both of them. i i was thinking more leave this open for this and then open a helm one just to address the helm one because i think there's a lot of good context in this issue that would help us you know determine this okay right. yeah. i i can yeah, go well, open up another one for this because okay, that sounds good yeah 
Okay. One thing. Meanwhile, sorry, go ahead. Uh, just thinking about his last comment here, what's interesting is he's seeing CPU throttling when the max serving threads is equal to the resource limit. Like CPU throttling in and of itself isn't terrible. Like it, it could result in some latency. Um, that's it's a little weird that we're getting CPU throttling because I would have thought that auto max procs would have taken care of that. Mm -hmm. What is resource limit here? Which which resource? Um, CPU or memory? CPU, I guess. Sorry, resource limits. Five, so that's five. Uh, that, that's got to be CPU. Oh yeah, makes sense. Yeah, memory wouldn't make sense. But how? How? Why is it um kill? Because of the uh, number of concurrent OPA instances. Oh, it's so, it goes eating too much memory because it's there running concurrent. Yeah, so it looks like for whatever they're doing, the their OPA logic and. The, cached and all that stuff. Um, three concurrent OPA calls is as much as they can fit in RAM. Unfortunately, that's not going to like scale predictably, right? Because uh, I, I think OPA uses different amounts of RAM depending on um, what it calls. Uh, Will was more well read into that stuff because he was doing the, the scaling research, though. So. Take my thing with a grain of salt. Okay. Um, can you can I assign this to you, Max? Since I think you have like the most context on this. Yeah, I'll do work. <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> hey, while I went through the like the stale box thing, I assigned some stuff to myself. Just. <laughs> Well, I, 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 did, say I assigned did. some stuff to you too. <laughs> to whom? <laughs> to whom? To whom? I, I, I assigned stuff to myself and I was like, wow, I'm getting real optimistic that I'll be able to like contribute code <laughs> at this point. That's true. All right. <laughs> but yeah, I sh let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. I mean, it's aspirational. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, I definitely think this is a good idea. Looking at yeah, this now. Yeah, blocker. Oh, Stack Twenty Nine is interested in that. In this, he's. Uh... Did I just assign it to him? <laughs> just kidding. Uh, no, I no, no. like <laughs> assigning things left and like. I'm Thank kidding. you for contributing. <laughs> we noticed you, you like contributing. We, uh, we notice uh, you care about this. Uh, oh. Unassigned will do. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Yeah. Moving on. You can do need help if you want. Um, so somebody could pick it up. Uh, good idea. I think we have we have a lot of. These, by the way, I, I I add a bunch of these when I was triage. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's not good for a issue, sadly. No, 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 it's not. Yeah, this, this yeah, is a good I one like too. I, I like this one. I, we, we should definitely adjust these. Yeah. Um, this is new. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this is uh, I would say help wanted and triaged. Yeah. Yeah, triaged. Yeah. Now I'm now I'm kind of regretting not having uh, the priority labels set up because then we could have like that, well next time. Yeah. I mean because we're gonna argue about what P one P zero P two means and that would just right. take up the whole meeting. So well, maybe maybe I is the right thing like interest. <laughs> or V for value. Like, cause I think that one, if, if I were to be like, I, I have like a bunch of cycles for some reason, uh, being able to sort for like the most valuable bugs could be interesting, but yes, we would probably debate relative value. We need priorities on the priorities. Right. Well, uh, you know, there's priority in this See value. how you already started. Okay. All right. Yeah. Allow comparison of priorities. Yes, I would think so. 
but we said yeah, this is not possible, right? I think this is, we just need access to the request object, right? Because if we, if users could define a request object, they could define old object. That makes sense. So, so, and some ability to provide that. Oh, like a config or some way right, of like passing the test. A dupe of the, the previous Gator bug that we looked at. Is it is this verify or test? It's actually test now, right? No, this is verify. This Why? is this is testing the policy, not testing the config. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, I would I would personally close this as like you take care of the request object, this is also taken care of. Okay, uh, so what are we doing? Oops. What do you want me to add here? Closing as dupe of number whatever it was, um, because uh, that is a super 18, set of- 18, 19. 18, 19. The admission request input object, right? Yeah, yeah, since that would necessarily include this feature. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yay, one last thing. Yes. Okay. Uh what did I do? I think I added this actually. Yeah. I asked it if it's addressed and depends depending on that. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's just the binary, right? So it just be like kubectl gate or something. Huh? It'll, it's just the binary as part of the plugins. So it'll be kubectl gate or whatever. Oh, no. Like the, the, when this was open, we didn't have gator yet. Yeah, yeah. But right. today it could be gator. Um, you mean other uh, plugin? It, it doesn't allow us to, gator doesn't currently do the functionality citing that he wants to do. Um, I don't know if we're interested, but it, it could be possible if you wanted to apply a set of constraints and templates, have something that applies the constraints, weights, applies the, or sorry, applies the templates, weights, applies the constraints when possible, apply the rest of the manifest or something. Um, I don't oh, know if that's cool. a responsibility we want to take on, but yeah. You, you mean like test the thing before it's actually applied the, to the cluster, you mean? Uh, I mean, so, you know, right now there's a bit of user friction where if you like, you, if you have like all of your stuff in, in like a, a folder, right? Your constraints, mm -hmm. your templates, and the resources you actually want to run on the cluster. Uh, and you try to keep cuddle apply it, it, it it's it's not going to work out because like the constraints won't apply because the templates won't have been like created by the time cube cuddle gets to them and your policy won't be enforced on the resources you're trying to create because uh, you know everything's not been loaded before you try to apply your first non constraint resource. Uh, so if you had something that applied constraint templates, waited for those to show created or something, right? Then applied constraints, waited for those to show enforced, and then applied the remainder of the resources. Mm. Remain, you mean like constraints? Uh, when you say remainder of the resources, do you mean like the 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 resources that need to be tested? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and, you know, Ooh. some subset okay. of that policy also could still make sense, like something just for applying constraints and templates. Uh, I just went maximalist with it. Yeah, which I don't think is what he's asking for. I think what he's asking for is basically apply, validate, and test of the constraints and constraint templates, 
which I think is what Gator does. Right. Well, it doesn't do the apply part. Right. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well. I don't. Um, yeah. It's, like I said, I don't think we necessarily have to be interested in providing that, but it's it's, and it's a little weird to say don't use cube pedal use or other thing, but it's a thought. Mm -hmm. I like if the um, the plugin can wait for the the constraint. Yeah, that's a common one. Like, it'd be nice if it could integrate with shift left type stuff too. Like, in some ways, this is a larger problem in the shift left community, right? Like, generator resources are just a thing. You can imagine. For instance, installing the Prometheus operator and then waiting to ins for Prometheus to spin up or or whatever. Like we're we're not the only game in town that uh, that requires waiting for initialization to be done before our downstream objects can can be created. So. I, I think it's fair to say this is a more generic problem that maybe we want to fit into a generalized solution rather than we want to try to own the solution ourselves. But I don't know if anyone's working on it in the larger case space. Does this reflect what we're saying or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, and then my like follow-on thought to that was maybe there's maybe this is something that is better owned by someone thinking about this problem generically rather than us thinking about it specifically mm -hmm. for constraints and templates. This this also kind of like tackles on the the the, uh, the image like OCI artifacts. We talked on last call, so maybe we could uh, kubectl apply. Basically, do okay, that. yeah. So, so, does does kubectl? Can you kubectl apply with like vanilla kubectl OCI? Oh no, no, no. So I mean, in this case, Gator will need to like download it, unpack it, and then apply it. No, no. It's, uh, yeah, I could do that. Um, so it was like kubectl Gator. Apply whatever, and then OCI something, right? So in this case, Gator is going to go to the registry, grab the artifacts, unpack them, apply the constraint template, and wait for it to uh, be done, and then apply the constraint. Yeah, I, there was also some thought of some sort of command to interact with the library, right? Yeah, yeah something exactly. that could like load templates. Yep, as needed. So yeah, it would be like a uh, gator apply, and then you specifically specify the policy name, say allowed images or something, uh, and it will automatically go to the library and then check those stuff. Yeah, something something like that is necessary. Uh, the the shape of how that executes, I think it's worth like sifting through the user stories there, right? Like user defined templates. Okay. Uh, what to do if there's conflicts? It, it, uh, go ahead. Sorry, well, we're like over time. Um, do we yeah. want to put this as triaged, or like, do we want to persist this as, as a as a backlog, or do we just close it? I like the idea that we're coming up with. I don't know if it's relevant, like. This is this is like the start of a design idea in my view, right? So I don't know quite what to do with that procedurally. Yeah, and and honestly, hearing you guys talk about this, I think there's a lot of like, you know, depending on what persona you're, who you are as a user, like the policy owner versus like the workload uh, owner operator. It, that separation of concern, which were it might come in play, which would not make this possible, I think. 
Um, I don't know. Like, yeah. that's why we have meet with discussion. Um, so leave it open. I mean, or, or just let the bot close it eventually, but, but it's going to come back again. So. Yeah. Like there's, there's, there's signal that there's good features to be delivered here. I think. Um, also, does it I don't have, have, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And is, then, is there a user experience here in our design or something like that? User experience. Oh, we already have that. It's already um, so triaged. So we don't. It yeah. doesn't get closed. All right. Okay. Cool. And we can need discussion but, too. I don't yeah. know. Oh, weird. I thought I had this. Oh, uh, it it was removed by by someone. I added this, and then I and then I removed. oh maybe accidentally. Yeah, interesting. Oops. Okay. Cool. Good. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye. Right, bye. Good to see you, everyone. Bye.